What's up guys, Juggalo here, and one of you, I don't know who I've totally forgot, who guessed a keyboard that I got, and you guessed right, it is the Logitech G510 keyboard, and here it is in all its glory, and uh, it lights up, you can monitor your temps and stuff with it, which is awesome, so let's go ahead and try to get this shot correct because I'm the only one here alright here is the keyboard itself hopefully my dog won't come in and be annoying and all that stuff so here it is the Logitech G510 keyboard or gaming keyboard let's go ahead and take that out of the box I already pre-cut everything so hopefully it comes out pretty easy and of course I have to tear the box right here while trying to undo it. Pulls right out. Don't need the box, chuck it. Okay, now just undo the tabs right here. We're gonna go ahead and figure out how this keyboard comes out. And then, of course, they have more stuff. There we go. You just have to yank on it for it to come out. All right, here is the keyboard itself, and you sort of got to be careful because the USB cord's in the way. But let's get all the accessories out right now and get this out. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me go ahead and double check again. Yeah, don't need this. Go ahead and chuck that. Hopefully you didn't knock down anything. But all right. The keyboard you're going to get a little pad that's nice and of course they have the little Logitech symbol there. Go ahead and take that off so it has a hand rest. And these come off fairly easy uh, on the one I have on the Logitech G19 it does. And as you can tell it clips onto the keyboard. So hopefully that will not be too much of a pain in the butt. You get important information little manual you get uh, a feedback card saying hey we like your feedback of course you get the CD right here for install then you get getting starting with the installation and everything guide you really don't need it it's pretty easy okay then getting to know the keyboard and it has like a little quick guide and shows you everything. Really don't need that. Alright, now let me go ahead and take out the keyboard. Of course it has little clear stuff on it, which is nice. Okay, and of course I'm sure you're going to be able to hear that because my neighbors are pounding on the um, floor for some reason and now I have to figure out which way this twisty tie goes go ahead and undo that okay um, more or less this is almost exactly like the G19 except it doesn't have a color display right here it's not big so it's pretty similar layout and everything for the most part you have your M1, M2, M3 buttons right here and the M1, M2, and M3, this right here is going to change the colors so you can select up to three colors. The MR is so you can embed one of these G3 keys to have a combination like Shift and F. If that did something in World of Warcraft, for example, you can just hit that instead of hitting two buttons. And you have your audio jack and microphone jack right here. And then, looking else, looking, looking. Of course, you have little tabs to support the motherboard up some if you like that. And you have a number pad, you have a scroll reel, wheel, excuse me. You have the settings right here you can hit. Um, play, stop, you know, forward, back kind of deal. Um, you have sound on, sound off deal right here. So everything is pretty much standard. So let me go ahead and take this motherboard and, not motherboard, but keyboard and 
hopefully I'll be able to install this right here without breaking anything because it's pretty easy to break with these plastic hinges so we have the keyboard well it doesn't stay up it likes to go down so I have to be careful when I do that when I set it down unfortunately so here we go let's try it a second time alright here is the motherboard all set up and uh, you get a little plastic cover for the USB port so we'll go ahead and take that out gotta plug this into a USB real quick alright that's in and now I can power up my wife's rig and here it is with the two fans at the top looks pretty nice and you guys know it looks like on the inside I also finished the paint job as well and I need to turn on my monitor if it will work of course so let me go ahead and show you this first alright now let me go ahead and connect this go to the monitor and then there we go now it should work ah I made a mistake the uh, monitor is not a touch button like my Samsung so that was a fail on my part right there and then here is the keyboard and everything and that is my wife's mouse it keeps on making that little Tron noise because it is the Tron gaming mouse that I bought her a while ago and the DPI on this is absolutely ridiculous and I know she's not gonna like it so I'm probably gonna have to um, adjust the DPI on it so let's go ahead and install the software for the Logitech keyboard so it says Logitech G510 already and you can't change the color or anything like that um, you can turn on and off the light with the uh, key that looks like a gear so if I hit that it comes on it again turns off so we gotta install the software first before it even recognizes hey you got a keyboard here so I'm hoping that it does recognize um, the keyboard but it's not recognizing what to display and everything like that so we're just gonna go here and go to Logitech Let's see nope I have to get to uh, used to this uh, keyboard okay go to Logitech.com gaming and we're going to go to uh, mice and keyboards and then we'll just go to corded and then of course it's going to show the Logitech G19 and then the G10 so we might have to do a search for the keyboard itself so we're going to go ahead and do uh, support and downloads and someone's calling me but that can be ignored so we'll go ahead and type in G510 hit enter and hopefully it'll bring it up which it does go ahead and bring this up <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to downloads I'm gonna choose our operating system and we're gonna select our download and then you have live chat gaming software current and game panel software um, I really don't know what the difference is maybe one is more updated than the other maybe so we're gonna go ahead and see so this was updated five days ago so 8-23-2012 now let me go back to where it says the uh, okay I'm selecting Windows 7 alright let me go to support downloads and for some reason it's not allowing me to redo it again but whatever go ahead and download it we're gonna save the file so always uh, pretty much 
get the most up-to-date software online. It's going to take 13 seconds to download, if not less than that. And I am trying to get the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. So let me prop it up. Go ahead and do that. And then so I'll just get the monitor in the frame and not my fat head. So we have it here. It's downloaded. We're going to go ahead and download, or I should say install, this stuff right here. Hit yes. And it's going to give you a welcome, blah, 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 blah. Hit next. And then accept, next, detecting devices. And then it's going to install. And then we might have to do a, a restart of the system. Like so. So it's not that bad. You know, it's pretty simple. Anybody can do it practically. So we're waiting for this to install. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long. But it looks like it might. So what I'm thinking is it might have just downloaded uh, the file then you get everything else online so we have install vent or install curse client you have like us on Facebook we don't care about any of that crap personally I think it's uh, kind of annoying so we're gonna go ahead and click done and then it's gonna say product reg uh, registration I'm gonna do all this later so let me go ahead and exit out of it. I'll do that later. Exit registration. And this right here, I think I showed you on the, uh, I think the Live Tech G19, what it does. So let me go ahead and zoom in. So right here gives you a layout of the keyboard, what it looks like, and what you can do with it. All right, so if you click like M1, it's going to say, oh, do you want to select one of these colors? My wife loves the color green. So we're going to go ahead and select green right here. And then if you look at the keyboard, the green screen is there as well as the keys are all green. See, they're all green. Can't really tell because it is pretty dark out or dark in here. All right, so we got M1 selected. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to M2, so we're going to select green, and then, I, I don't know, select blue, a little bolder color, and then after that we're going to select red. That really pops out right there, you can see the screen on the keyboard, it really pops out red. So we're going to go ahead and back that out. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and see if all this stuff works. I'm going to do M1. Goes to green. It goes to M2. Blue. Then M3 is red. So we have all the settings that we want. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and exit. And I'm going to show you what to do on here for uh, displaying your info and everything like that. So I got Precision X and everybody's going to say you need to use a screen capture. Well, I'm showing you from start to finish on here so give me a break will ya? But here it is Logitech or EVGA Precision X, excuse me. We have idle is 33 degrees right now. I'm going to go ahead and crank up my fans. Yeah, I think they're all the way full blast. So we're good to go. So what we're going to do is just settings. And wow, that is really huge. For some reason, I think I might have to adjust something real quick. So hit cancel. Okay, we're going to go to control panel. And we're going to ensure that the resolution that I want is correct. Okay. We're looking at other resolutions. We're going to do that. Native. Make sure it's all good to go. Apply. And it might make it a little smaller. 
Okay, hit yes. We want to keep it. Make sure it's 32 bit. And for some reason, it says Encore Communication instead of ASUS, which is really weird. But whatever. Got to go back to monitoring. And then for some reason, it is really, really huge. Don't know why. I need to uh, probably adjust it. Of course, it's going to give it me a pain in the butt. But anyway, what you want to do is just hit show in Logitech keyboard uh, display, which is right here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to say that. Click OK. And what font you want. Uh, four six font five six blah 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 blah. We're just gonna do four six, and then we're gonna make sure that uh, here uh, power. We're gonna do the GPU temperature. We're gonna make sure it's on there as well. So you're gonna select the item that you want right here, such as your power. I know you probably can't see, but hopefully you get the idea. So you're gonna select like power consumption, for example, and then after that. You're going to go ahead and click show in Logitech display. So we have that GPU temperature and all that stuff. All right, and we're going to do the frame rate. And we're going to hit OK. And then let me take it off. It shows you the temperature and everything, which is pretty small. So we're going to go ahead, we don't like that, we can go ahead and change the uh, deal as far as the font. So we're going to go ahead and do the biggest we can to see what happens. We're going to hit OK. And there you go, there's the biggest font right there. So it's a little easier to read. You also can have it where it displays right here, the corner, um, anywhere you want. So this is uh, going to be a definitely lengthy video on this keyboard as well as, um, whoops, sorry about that guys, didn't lock in all the way unfortunately. Alright, there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and test out the colors and everything of the monitor. So I'm going to do the... Um, Heaven benchmark for a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, it's the only thing I have on here, unfortunately. I still have to install the games and stuff, but I need to be on um, what is it like? Probably during midnight or something. I'm going to do it because it looks like I have a dead pixel. Isn't that great? This monitor has a dead pixel, one dead pixel, and it's located right here and it's green. So that means I have to call the manufacturer up or call Newegg up. So that's why I kept the uh, box. So always keep the box where you, where you get it. Also, I might be able to just, uh, I think I got this monitor over at um, Micro Center. So all I have to do is get the receipt and return and say, hey, this has a dead pixel, show them proof and so on and so forth. So I gotta cut the video short, unfortunately. And if you wanna know my max temps right now, it's 45 right now on a full load. So, gotta make this short, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta go to Micro Center and enjoy the traffic that's going on. So, I guess that's it, guys. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. Guys, have a great day, bye.